Well, the California Association of Realtors is apologizing today for their active role in racism in the past. They endorsed a proposition in the 1960s that allowed agents to openly discriminate. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner is live in the studio tonight. And Morgan, you spoke to the president of the organization. They don't plan to just stop at the apology. They don't. The organization has been working with lawmakers to pass legislation to address the issues they played a large part in creating. Estella Sanchez remembers when her parents tried buying a home in Sacramento in the 50s. The fact that they were Mexican, they would, they would be turned down. She doesn't know exactly how many times they were turned down. What she does know, her dad never gave up, started door knocking on homes that had for sale signs himself until someone said yes. And he goes, okay, yeah, um, I will sell you guys the house with one condition that I could live in the mother-in-law house until I pass away. And that's exactly what happened. Even with another man living on their property, Estella considers her family lucky. They were able to purchase a home. For decades, CREA promoted policies that encouraged discrimination and the idea that neighborhood integration would negatively impact property values. The association endorsed racial zoning, redlining, and racially restrictive covenants. Otto Katrina is the president of the California Association of Realtors. Redlining is when a family is refused a loan to buy a house. A covenant is... The house that I currently live in now had a covenant in there that uh, related to uh, a specific ethnicities that were not allowed to spend 24 hours in a neighborhood. And we have pushed legislation to get those cleaned up. Katrina, a kid at the time the organization was promoting these policies, acknowledges the lasting impact. Generations do not have the land or equity to pass down to their kids like he does. We will not tolerate that, and uh, we are a different association today. Today, his group provides grants to underserved families to help them put down payments on a home. They've just passed a law that requires bias training for all real estate salespeople. In the 50s, the group passed a constitutional change that allowed wealthy neighborhoods, gave them the power to deny affordable and low-income housing in their area. This year, they helped pass a bill to overturn it. But because it is a constitutional change, it will be on your November 2024 ballot. Chris? Morgan, thank you.